Hi there. Now, in this problem, what we've got is a lift of mass 200 kilograms. I'll just put that in here. And it's being lowered into a mine shaft then by a vertical cable attached to the top of the lift. And we have a crate of mass 55 kilograms. It's on the floor inside the lift. And the lift descends vertically with constant acceleration. We don't know what that acceleration is. I'll just mark it in here. Just we'll say that it's A. All right. And there's a constant upwards resistance of magnitude 150 newtons on the lift. And this is unusual. You don't tend to get this. You just tend to get the tension in the cable on lift problems. So this is what makes this question a little bit different. My mark on the tension here is say T newtons, but we've got this constant force, this resistance of 150 newtons. So I'll mark that on as well. Okay, so that's what we've got there. Now. The crate experiences a constant normal reaction of magnitude 473 newtons from the floor of the lift. And we've got to find then the acceleration of the lift and also find the magnitude of the force exerted on the lift cable. In other words, that tension there. Well, what we've got here, just to complete this diagram, is the total weight downwards, okay, which is going to be the weight of the lift which will be 200 g newtons plus the weight of this crate here 55 g newtons so that's going to be a total of 255 g newtons so that would be my forces acting on the lift but in order to do part a what we've got to do in this problem is look first of all at the crate which is unusual in itself. Normally we just work off this diagram and get the tension in the cable. We can't do that because we haven't got the acceleration. So we just turn to the crate here. So draw the floor of the lift and we've got the crate resting on the floor. Its mass is 55 kilograms. So as far as forces go, We've got the weight acting downwards of the crate, that's 55 g newtons. And we've got this reaction from the floor, the contact force. And we're told that that contact force is 473 newtons. So just put that in as 473 newtons, put that over there, 473 newtons. We've got the acceleration, it's coming downwards, okay, so mark that in as well as A. And that's what we need to find. So this is just a simple case of resolving downwards, applying Newton's law of motion, force equals mass times acceleration. And so we'll just consider the crate here, okay, consider the crate. And resolving down, we've got the weight of the crate, 55g, and then minus that contact force, 473. That's going to equal the mass, which is 55 kilograms, and its acceleration is A. And if we take G to be 9.8, then 55 times 9.8 minus 473 gives us 66 equals 55A. And dividing both sides by 55 gives us the acceleration is exactly 1.2, and that will be measured in meters per second per second. Okay, so that's that part. And then we move on to the next part, then part B. And in part B, then, we've just got to get this tension in the cable, okay, the magnitude of the force exerted on the lift cable. So for part B, what I'm going to do is consider the lift and crate, okay, the lift plus the crate. So we're working then from this diagram here. And all I've got to do then is resolve downwards. And resolving downwards means that we've got the overall force is going to be 255G, 
Okay, 255G, and then we've got minus this resistance and the tension in the cable. So we've got minus 150 minus T, and that's going to equal the total mass, which is 255 kilograms, and it's accelerating at 1.2 meters per second per second. So if we rearrange this for T, we therefore have T equals 255 G minus 150 and minus 255 times 1.2. And if you work this out, you get exactly that that force in the cable is 2043 and that will be measured in Newtons. Okay?